Idaho moving into stage four of reopening amid the coronavirus pandemic, the Black Lives Matter movement and police reform. Three critical issues of our current times. And for this weekend's viewpoint, Doug Petcash got Boise Mayor Lauren McLean's perspective on them. Here are some experts excerpts, excuse me, from that conversation. Well, the governor said Idaho barely met the criteria to move into stage four of reopening. How do you feel about making the move? Well, you know, we are trusting the public health agencies, both at the state level and the governor's office and here at Central District Health in Ada County to help us make that decision. And they reviewed the data and said it was closed, but it was time to move on. Here in the city, we're very mindful of the fact that when we want to get everybody back to work. We have to be really careful about how we as individuals act um, and then how we protect the public as a city itself so that we can continue to open up. And we've got to watch those cases and do everything we can. And that's why, you know, we encourage members of the public to wear your masks when you're out and about or entering stores. Keep that distance wherever you can um, and then follow protocols if your business is reopening. Central District Health says it's investigating a cluster of COVID-19 illnesses involving 10 people who visited downtown Boise bars on June 5th and June 6th. How concerned are you about this? No, this is these are things that we were afraid would happen as we reopen and that was a lot of the conversation early on about how we reopen in smart ways requires the you know the state government the city government to be vigilant and like, thinking about the requirements that we set out and the protocols that we are asking businesses to follow and then individuals um, to take the responsibility seriously to keep that distance between people who wear masks and we're concerned that we'll see outbreaks and that's why here at the city of Boise, we've like slowly um, offered reopening and continue to look at the group sizes that are allowed in our community. Mayor, what's your takeaway from the Black Lives Matter vigil for George, George Floyd that drew 5,000 people to downtown Boise, as well as the ongoing press uh, protests downtown? I just want to say that the, the impact that, that the vigil had last week on our community, I think was profound because the organizers did an incredible job of centering the stories of people in our community and reminding people that we were there to pay our respects to those who have died. And the public responded accordingly. Um, when I've talked to people that organized the vigil, the people that attended the vigil, even the police that were there, um, trying to make sure that everyone was safe, the, there's one thing that I hear from everyone and that was the thankfulness that it was peaceful and deep gratitude for having it be done as it was in such a Boise way, really. Can it have a lasting impact? I think it can and it will. We've, as a community, begun conversations with organizers and others about actions that we ought to take. The, the speakers that night may, you know, gave us a call to action and said, figure out how you as individuals, residents of this great city um, can help us improve relations and, and build community in the long run. And I'm seeing that happen. Since George Floyd's death and the protests that have followed, much of the focus nationally is now on police reform and there are calls to defund police departments. What's your stance on that? I think that you can support a police department and recognize there's a role to be played in public safety and have the conversation about the investments we make within that department that support and build out um, community programming, uh, the liaison officers and social services that we have. Um, and I'm very much open to having that conversation with the new chief, the department, residents of our community and the city council. And also discusses why she thinks incoming police chief Brian Lee is the right person for the job, property taxes and a new development in the effort to provide more affordable housing in Boise. You have several opportunities to watch the whole conversation. Viewpoint will air Saturday morning at 1030 and four times on Sunday. Those times are right there on your screen.